Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Britannia where today we're going to be covering the advanced mystical items you can get using the Alpine portal. First off let's go over the advanced rods. The first one is the rod of the Bifrost. This is made using two pieces of pixie dust, one dragonstone and two elementium ingots and when you use this what it's going to do is simply make a light bridge in any direction you want and this is going to use mana inside your inventory. So for example, all I can do is simply right click in the air and as you can see we have a light bridge. This light bridge can go up to a 100 blocks long and obviously it can be going in directions I've said but it will only last up to 30 seconds so you've got to run past it very quickly. Now I'm in creative mode so I am actually able to spam this in any direction I want for as long as I want. However in uh, survival it will only be able to do one light bridge at a time and after your light bridge has disappeared so after the 30 seconds you'll be able to use the next one. Next up we have the Rod of the Highlands, this is made using the Rod of Lands, the Pixie Dust and a Rune of Air and this does everything the Rod of the Lands does which is obviously placing dirt in the world but the Rod of the Highlands allows you to place dirt anywhere in you want so it doesn't have to be on a block. Next up we have the Rod of the Shaded Mesa, this is made using three pieces of uh, Dreamwood Twig, one piece of Wheat and a Dragonstone. Now what this allows you to do is pick up any sort of items in the world or entities or mobs. So here we go, I'm picking up this thing in the air and then what I can do is actually left click and it will throw it away. The same thing can be done with mobs. Here we have a sheep, I can just hold down right click and now I'm picking up this goddamn little fella. Sorry for him though, I'm going to have to blow him into the stratosphere. Now this is going to constantly use mana inside of the inventory while you are holding down right click. Next up we have the Rod of Unstable Reservoir. This is probably one of the most expensive crafts in the game and this is using three dragon stones, two dreamwood twigs and two gaia spirits. Now what this is going to do is using up mana inside of your inventory allow you to send down missiles from the sky to actually in kill your enemies. Now it doesn't seem to actually work on normal mobs, it only works on hostile mobs. So here we have a selection of spiders, now when we hold right click we can see that we have got missiles coming down from the sky. Now you, you can also see that it works in sort of an AOE effect, so it does the general area of mobs that you're looking towards. There is a range on it so you can't do it from incredibly far away, uh, but obviously you can't target just one enemy at a time. Next up we have the Shard of Laptuma, moving away from rods now. This is going to allow you to basically make a floating island, similar to the floating islands you probably get in Tinker's Construct. This is quite expensive as well, this is going to require one Dragonstone, two Prismarine crystals, one earth rune, one air rune and three guy spirits and any coloured floating flower. Not one of the ones that are actually using a functional or generating flower, it's got to be just one of the ordinary coloured flowers. Now by itself the floating flower, won't, uh, this shard will not do too much, it will make an island with a radius of 14 as you can see here. However this can actually be expanded, every time you add one more guy spirit to your shard of laputa you will get one extra level being as you see shard power 2 with a radius of 15 so it adds one more block at maximum i've uh, gone ahead and gone all the way to the max which is 20 and this allows you to have 33 block radius now ahead of time i've already started this and it, it does take quite a long amount of time and uh, as you can see it literally does one layer of blocks at a time it's picking them up from the ground below and firing them straight up into the air and obviously the wider you go the deeper the island is actually going to be the one caveat though when it comes to making these islands you can see it doesn't really work well with gravel so the uh, there will be holes in your island where gravel would be unfortunately but that's not the end of the world of course. It does take quite a long time, I've had this going for quite a little while now and it's not even halfway through yet. Next up we have slime in a bottle, this is made using 5 pieces of elementium ingots, 1 slime ball and a piece of elf glass and this has a very simple use. In my hot bar as you can see we have this little slime in a bottle as you can see and he's not really doing a lot. But as you walk around what it will do is once you find a slime chunk it is going to start bouncing around like nobody's business. So somewhere around here it just started going, if you hold F3 and G it's going to do it a little bit easier. Here you go, this chunk over here is a slime chunk so this is you know where you, a place you can actually find slime and do a little bit of a slime farm or set up your Nar slime flower for mana. Moving on we have the world seed. This is made using a grass block, one seed and a dragon stone and this is simply going to send you to the spawn of your world. So if you just want to find out where everything began, right click on the world and it will just send you straight back to where you started. 
something akin to a builder's wand is the sh world shaper's astrolabe. The world shaper's astrolabe is me using five pieces of elementary mean got two guy spirits, and a piece of dreamwood. And what this will do is when it's in your hand, similar to the uh, sextant, and what you can do is you can right click on the world, and this is going to give you a block that you want you to use. Now I do have to be in survival mode for this. All right, we're in survival now now and if i shift right click on the ground as you can see here we have got a load of uh, stone that saying we can use we can also use grass blocks and any other types that we want now the cool thing about this as well is that we can use things like the rod of the highlands or the rod of land so if we get the rod of lands here nice we can see that we now have a frame of things we can use now when you shift right click in the air it can change the size of the square that it wants to make up to 11 by 11 as you can see here so then what you can do is simply click on the ground and it'll give you a big massive wall now you have to look directly down for it to do the horizontal version or directly up unfortunately this next mystical item is a little bit more of your own sort of taste and it's all about horses there are two different types there's the necromodal virus and the non the mortal virus i didn't say that correctly each of these are made with one pixie dust a vine ball a magma cream a fermented spider eye an ender eye and then either a zombie head or a skeleton head to give your respective ones now in order to use this and the only thing that it does is change your horses into either a zombie horse or a skeleton horse now you do have to have tamed horses in order to do this you can't just do it with any horse in the wild but after they are tamed you simply just have to right click them with the virus and they will change into their respective horses bit of an unusual bucket is the extra plated bucket this is made using three pieces of elementum ingots and all it will do is avoid any liquid that you pick up so say you have a big large lava pool you want to get away all you have to do is simply right click and this is going to just avoid that liquid into the world you can do it with water as well but obviously you have to try and do that faster than water can sort of duplicate itself next up we have a weapon which is the flare chakram similar to the thorn chakram except now it's got a little of a bonus effect made with two previous thorn chakrams one pixie dust and six blaze powder what this will do is work exact same way is that you can right click it and throw it but this time it's going to actually set things on fire as well as that eventually it will come back to you just like a boomerang Lastly, we have got the lens clip. This is made using five pieces of Dreamwood, and this is to go and work with your mana blaster. Now, when you put it into a crafting table, as you can see here, you get this little add on here, and this allows you to have up to seven or sorry, six different lenses on your mana blaster at a time. Now, it's a little bit of a pain to actually put them all on. It's all done just in the crafting table and everything works the exact same way as normal. The blaster is going to use, obviously, um, things from your rings in your inventory or any other mana blasting things. So if we put a mana blaster in here what we have to do is put each one on there all the one after the other but you can't just put it consecutively unfortunately you have to change where you are in the clip and that is by holding shift and right clicking in the world and that will change it to the next thing in the clip so now you can see the highlighted empty is where we are next and this is where we have to install our next one so it's a little bit of a pain in order to uh do each and every single one but uh eventually you will get all of them placed in and then obviously you can just switch in your mana blaster to whichever one you would like to use but for now that is going to be each and every single type of mystical item that you can get in the advanced sections of batania next up we're going to be showing all the of the miscellaneous types of items some cool things are going to be involved there but we are coming towards the end of this mod now so tell me what do you think you we should cover next in the comments in a couple of days i will be throwing up a community tab uh question saying what should we should do out of your comments down below so get your comments in now but if this video did help you out in any way shape or form please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe it would really help me out and ring the bell button to stay notified when these videos go live but until next time guys take care